In this video, we are going to find the sum of a series, and if we look, we notice that it's going up by 8 each time. Now, to sum up a finite arithmetic series, it's the number of terms over 2 times the first term plus the last term. So if we look at what we have, we have the first term, we have the last term, so we're in good shape there. We don't have the number of terms. So what we're going to want to do is develop a formula for the nth term to find out how many terms we have, because that'll save us some time as opposed to counting, and then um, use that to figure out n. Well, if we know the common difference in the first term, we can set this up. The general term is a sub n equals 3 plus 8 times n minus 1. And we want to know what the term for 787 is. So 787 equals 3 plus 8 times n minus 1. Our goal is to solve for n, so we know how many terms we have. So we subtract 3 from both sides. We have 784 equals 8 times n minus 1. And then we're going to divide both sides by 8. And we get 98 equals n minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. We find out that this series has 99 terms. So we can go back up and apply our formula. So we have 99 over 2 times our first term, which is 3, plus our last term, which is 787. And we can now calculate our sum. And we can just do it all at once and we get 39,105. So, the big thing here is we had to figure out how many terms we had and we didn't want to have to count them all because what, what if we had a series with 2,000 terms? So the easiest way is to find the nth term to get what the number of terms is.